What's going on guys? This is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can send email from csub.net application. You see, when you create a desktop application using csub.net, you need to build such a system which can send an email. This is crucial because when the user registers to your system, you need to get notified. And it is also useful in cases such as when your client forget their password, they can send request for the password through your system. This overcome the problem of opening browser and login to any email provider website and send email to you for the password. So without further more any explanation, let's do it. First of all, open Visual Studio, go to File, click on New, and then click on Project. And then select C -Sup, Visual C -Sup, and then Windows, and then Windows Form Application, and then give the name of your project. And then click on OK. Now expand this form a little bit. And now click on Toolbox, and click on Command Control, and from there drag and drop four levels. and then four text box over the form and one button. Now, what we are going to do is, now we are going to change the property of his control. So select this label and from the property of this label, change the text of this label to receiver email. And here goes gender email. And here goes password of the gender email. And finally, here goes mail. You can also increase the font height of this level from the font property here and size like two bell. You can increase each label size in this way. So select this text box and increase this text box a little bit. Now we are going to change the name of each text box. It's always good practice to give the name of each text box because we can easily distinguish which text box is associated with which label or from which text box we are going to take the input from the user. So, Click this text box and from the property of this text box, scroll down and find the name property. And here goes txt receiver. And here goes txt sender. And here goes txt password. And here goes txt mail txt mail and we need to increase the size of this uh, mail because we need to write multiple lines in our message so from the property of this text box scroll above and find the property multi line multi line to true and scroll bars to both And now you can expand this text box. And finally, change the button text to send. You can also change the name of this button to btn send. Now, double click this send button and we are going to write the code over here. First of all, we are going to send the message through the network, so we need to use the namespace using system.net and another one using system.net.mail. We are going to use the mail service, so we need to import this namespace. Now, inside the clicking event of this button, we are going to declare some variables, so here is string to from password and then finally mail. Now we are going to store user input 
value in this variable so 2 is equal to txt receiver dot text and we need to convert each text box to a string so to a string similar process from is equal to txt sender dot text dot to a string And then mail is equal to txt mail dot text dot to string and then password is equal to txt pass dot twisting we forget one thing let me go back to the design of this form select the password field and we have one property that is password character we need to hide our password so here you can give any character i'm going to give asterisk now go back to source code first of all let me write the code and i will explain later so we heard good mail message message is equal to new mail message message dot to dot add to
Now I am going to explain each line of this code. Here in the first line, as you can see, we declare some variable and then we store the user input value in corresponding variable. Here you can see. Now we are going to send the mail. So we are going to use the mail message class provided by C sharp. And here you can see we add the receiving email to our message instance of mail message classes. And here we add the sending email to the message instance of mail message class. And here we add our actual mail message to the body of mail message instance. And here we give the subject of this mail. Either you can give it statically or dynamically. For giving dynamically, you can add own label over here and own text box over here. And the rest of the process is similar. Here you can see, take the input from the user and pass the variable over here. As you all know, email is sent using SMTP protocol. That is simple mail transfer protocol. We are going to use SMTP client over here and we use the Gmail as our sending and receiving message. So I'm going to use smtp.gmail.com as a parameter. Now we are going to enable SSL that is secure socket layer to true. And then we are going to use port 587. Generally 587 is used for sending an email. And here we are going to assign the delivery method that is network. And finally we are going to pass the credentials of sending email that is email and password. And we are going to use try and catch exception handling over here. And inside the try block as you can see finally we are going to use the send method of the SMTP client. And here you can see we use and transfer the message as a parameter. And finally, we use the message box to send the message to the user. Now let's run it. Now here, enter the receiving email. And here, enter the sender email. And here, enter the password of the sender email that you set while signing up with Gmail. And here, enter your message. And then click on send. There you go. Email sent successfully. Now let's check whether the email is received in this email address or not. So there you go. There is an email receiving that receiving email address and having the title email testing. Let's open it. This is the CSAB email sending application. So that's it in this video tutorial guys. If you face some problem, comment your problem in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, share this video with your friends so that they can know about this useful tutorial. And stay connected with this channel. In order to stay connected with this channel, you need to subscribe this channel, subscribe this channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon because you will get the notification when I upload the new video tutorial. And thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day.